Yo, Rugs, this new stuff hits different. You look like a cow. Or some shit. It's a horse. And her name's Cecilia. And you're under arrest. Officer Bacchus, didn't see you up there. Why are you riding a horse? Because apparently my driver's license isn't valid anymore. How many DUIs do you have? A bunch. You should not be a cop. Oh yeah? Well, you're under goddamn arrest. For what? For being under the influence of marijuana. God damn it, horse. Where are you? Heel, god damn it. Cecilia. You can't control your horse? Yeah, usually, but she's probably all loopy because of the contact eye. Now put your hands behind your back. Horse, god damn it. Christ apple, Cecilia. Go back to the perp, you dumb fucking horse. Does Cecilia like brownies? What are they, like pot brownies or something? Oh, come on, man. It's just chocolate and cashews. Ooh, I love cashews. Uh, give me one of those brownies, too. Mmm. Mmm. Those are pretty good, but they uh, tasted a little funny. Probably all the weed I put in them. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Oh, fuck. Cartoons for Stoners 12. Dig it. Hi, Beverly. My name is Ellis Griggs, and my account number is 092124. Yeah. You find me? Cool. Yeah, well, I'm actually calling because I gotta cancel my subscription to your magazine. Yeah, I know I just started, but you see, this is a classic case of a dude buying shit high as fuck. You dig? Yeah, I thought the magazine was something else. The exact opposite of what it is, actually. Yeah, I misread the name and, like, fancy font and shit. Yeah, you know what I think it was called. Uh, well, Beverly, you sound like a woman of strong faith, so... You need to know for the cancellation report? Can't just push a little button and clear my info? Damn, alright. Well, before I tell you what I thought it was called, I want to start by saying that I am a collector of vintage pornographic magazines for professional research purposes. I archive them and have been part of more than a few FBI investigations with my extensive back catalog. I put away a few perverts in my day, yeah. But anyway, you can't find these out of print nudie mags on the internet. I'm not talking about Playboy or Hustler or any of that shit, I'm talking about the hard to find books like Leather Canyons or uh, Finger Pie Today, you know, shit like that. Nothing weird though, just classic tits and shit, you know, no animals or goofy themes, just 18 plus good old fashioned porno. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. So, I thought your magazine was called Stink Titty. Yeah, like I said, I was high as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, all right, Bill. I like you. All right, I appreciate that. And you have a good rest of your day. All right, darling. You too. Hey, Gwen. My name's Ellis Griggs, and well, the reason I'm calling. I was about 15 at the time. My dad was already sick, so I was trying to do more work in the yard to help out. Mom was doing the laundry in the basement, and Dad was taking a nap in his room. I gave the rope a pull and started up the lawnmower, first try. I still remember that. Anyway, I was cutting the grass and listening to my generic Disman. I just bought the uh, Song Remains the Same, the Led Zeppelin live album. Remember that? Um, I was singing along and cutting and really escaping for a bit. Then that's when it happened. That's the sound it made. The sound of a lawnmower blade slicing through a deadly gardener snake. I saw the tail shake itself out of the edge. The rest of the snake's body became a blood tube, or like a hose of blood. Snake blood shooting out of the chute like a vampire with diarrhea. It was nuts. I was frozen in fear. What just happened? 
in my headphones, Robert Plant was dropping the octaves to the entire Led Zeppelin catalog, and in my brain, I couldn't stop replaying the blood shower. Then, I looked around the yard. I started spotting snakes everywhere. First, a few, then several, and then a shit ton. They were all over the place and coming straight for me. I had two options. Run away and scream in terror and hope the deadly gardener snakes don't wrap around my ankles and swallow me whole. Or two, start the mower back up and let it rain. I looked back at the house. I looked at my dad's window. I saw him there. He was giving me a thumbs up. It's the first time I've seen him smile in months. I knew what that meant. So I leaned back, pulled the rope, and slowly sliced up hundreds and hundreds of snakes. Blood all over the place. Jesus Christ. Yeah, bloodshot on the windows and the siding. It looked like Carrie had her prom in the maple tree in the front yard. So to answer your question, that is my most memorable moment with my father. That is not what I asked you. Really? What'd you ask me? Do you want to order pizza? Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Pizza's, Pizza's fine. fine. I am no longer hungry. Because of my blood snake story? Yes. I, General in Chief of the Armies of the Confederate States, Robert E. Lee, am here to declare Minneapolis as Confederate property. May the immediate transition to the ways of the South begin to take hold on these pitiful Union misfits. May the sun shine, may the stars and march fly, and may the South rise again. Hey, Ellis. Yeah. Did you loot? I already told you. No, I did not loot. So you just happened to randomly buy a brand new TV during the most tumultuous time in our city's history? I guess so. Interesting. Because if I was black, I would have totally looted. I mean, for all the stuff black people have to go through? I would have totally stole a TV or a microwave or something, I don't know. Look, if you want to go loot, go loot. There's plenty of what motherfuckers out there stealing shit and burning shit. You think it's black people doing all that? Huh, I never thought of that. Interesting. Where did you buy the TV? I bought it at fucking Costco. You want to see the receipt? No, I don't need to see the receipt. What, do you have it on you? If you have it on you, I'll look at it, yeah. Look, here's the deal. Either you're an ally to black people, or you're the enemy of black people. Calm down. You know I'm the most unracist person you know. No, you know what I do know? I know you're the most dangerous kind of racist. The kind that doesn't even believe they are racist. You really think that? Yup, 100. Now I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you an ally, or are you an enemy? Guys, quick! Turn on the news! There's an invasion! After months of fighting a deadly virus, followed by lighting the spark of the biggest civil rights movement in mankind's existence, Minneapolis is now the site of a battle that just minutes ago seemed impossible. The shamed Civil War era statues of the South have become alive, aware, and are seeking revenge on Minneapolis. Racist statues are attacking the city? Yeah, that's crazy, huh? What is this, like a 72-inch screen? God, must have been pricey. Hey, Ellis. Are STDs still a thing? You don't hear about them as much as you used to. Yeah. Some people have them, and uh, some people don't. Wow. That's great information, Ellis. Say the word. Say the word? What, like the Beatles song? Say the what? Fuck? Oh, you dumbass. He meant say the word. He texted you earlier, so he knows you're not a cop. What? How do you know? I looked at your phone when you were getting gas. You looked through my phone? Yeah. Why? I was bored. Please don't. I don't go looking through your phone. It's because I have a password. Did you look through my photos? Yeah. Wow, okay. Say the word. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, let me look through my uh, phone here. One sec, looking for the text. I just wanted to get an ounce of weed. Not sure why it has to be a big cluster. 
Ooh, that pisses me off. You better pull your shit together. Well, fuck, man. This is stupid. I miss Burnout Benny. Why is he dodging my calls anyway? Because you're always an asshole to him. Say the word. Look, we're just here for the weed. God damn it. Look, dude, I got shit I gotta do. Like what? Like smoke this motherfucker's weed. Well, I'm trying, okay? Say the word. Tell him the word. Say the word. Grape nuts. Fuck you. What the fuck are you doing? I took a guess. Apparently it's not grape nuts. Fuck if I know. Well, why the fuck don't you look at the text that he sent? Apparently I deleted it. Say the word. Hey, can you text me the word again? Because I obviously don't... Okay, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Fuck this guy. I'm gonna go get some trash weed from the Pizza Hut dude. The Pizza Hut dude moved away like four years ago. He went to Iowa. Say the word. Spatula? I'm out. Didn't you read my text? Why don't you just tell him the goddamn word? Say the word. Open that fucking door before I rip it off the hinges. That word works too. Hello. I'm Loopy Larry. I hear you're interested in an ounce. Yo dog, fuck those statues. DJ. You need to get high and start up your genius brain. Why? Because, DJ, it's time to fuck up them racists. Make us some super suits. Okay. My name is President Andrew Jackson, and I heard you want to replace me with some black woman named Harriet. Well, from where I'm from, we don't put criminals on money. White power! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all you run! What are you scared of, old Silent Sam? <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you, the big bronze bitch. You can lose that pussy little flag you'd be waving. Why is that? Because I won't let you surrender this time. <laughs> oh, what the hell, DJ? Why did he get a sweet metal warrior suit and all I got is a cracker barrel gun and this wildly unflattering bodysuit? Does this gun even work? Oh, it's a laser gun. Fucking right! Your kind should be in the fields, whistling your lives away. But don't worry, you'll be back picking cotton in no time, boy. Hey, dog, guess what? Your head just fell off. I can see you're real broken up about it. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, no fear, um, I'm the Green Pellet and I'm here to save the day. You are a traitor, punishable by death. Hello, Minneapolis. I am America's true founder, Christopher Columbus. Oh. You colored fool. You're not even good enough to be my slave. Nobody calls my best friend colored. Little green filth. I'll flick you away like the little snot you are. Huh? You okay? Uh, did you beat him? Nah, man. We beat them. Together. See? <clears throat> I told you I was an ally. You sure are, man. You sure are. Am I like the, uh, like the white guy that helps the black people in those feel-good movies? Ellis, am I the white savior? If that's who you want to be, man, you got it. Yeah, that's what I want to be. That's all I ever wanted. Hey, Ellis. I thought you said you would never ever wear a mask. What, you mean like your green pellet eye bandana thing? No, man. I had that sweet ass robot, remember? So I didn't need one. No, no, I mean a pandemic mask. You told me the other day you never wear masks, and you never will. Oh, yeah. 
That's because as a black man, I don't feel safe covering my face with all these trigger-happy people running around scared of black folk and all. You feel me? Never thought of it like that. Wow. That's something to think about. But what I was actually getting at was, if you've never worn a mask, how did you buy a TV at Costco when masks are mandatory there? Am I still an ally? Diane, where do they got the long sausage? Diane, where'd you go? Sir, can you please put on a mask? Oh, geez, yeah, okay. Was it Halloween in July? Yeah, maybe another time, okay? There is a store policy stating all customers must wear a face mask. Why are you filming me? What, do you think I'm famous or something? <laughs> you know, back before uh, Diane, I used to get called Duffy in high school. Yeah, because I look like Bobby Ewing back in my varsity football days. You're probably too young to know who that guy was. He was on Dallas, not the Cowboys. Yeah, he was on the show. Uh, girls all liked him, but I don't know. About if you're that, not right? going to put on a mask, you're going to have to leave. Yeah, okay. I'm going to leave as soon as I find the long sausage and a new pair of swimming trunks. Does that sound good? Uh-oh, Ellis. Looks like Packer Dan is about to go viral. Maybe he'd like wearing a mask if he found the right one. I'm going to go ahead and have security escort you out. For what? Because I still know my rights as an American? Here we go. Oh no, what's happening here? Well, Dan the Packer fan doesn't want to wear a mask, but store policy says he has to. He just brought America into it, so things are about to get nuts. Oh no, not again. Show me which amendment in the goddamn Constitution says that Costco has the right to tell me what I can and can't wear. It ain't in there, okay? And I hope your little movie caught all that because the truth should be heard. And oh yeah. You know what, speaking of, you snowflakes, you moved my Hannity over to the AM station, it's hard as shit to understand. It's mostly just static in the name Hillary over and over again. Sounds like he's in a drain pipe, you know? So uh, yeah, add that to your little movie. Uh, move Hannity back to FM so I can hear what the hell he's talking about, okay? Please leave the store immediately. You know what, as soon as my wife gets back, we'll finish shopping and skedaddle, okay? Does that work for you? Please leave now. As soon as my wife gets back, I will, okay? Dad. Oh, hey, Kelvin, what are you doing? Some shopping, too? Holy shit. Packer Dan is his dad? You see this dupa giving me and your ma the runaround about the dumb masks? Yeah, it's uh, it's time to go, Dad. Uh, let's take you home. Oh, what, are you one of them, too? Okay, well, yeah, I'm just waiting on your ma, and then we're going to take our business to Fleet Farm. Dad, uh, you know Mom isn't coming back. The hell are you talking about? Yeah, she's coming back. Yeah, she's coming back. Uh, no, she's not coming back. Yeah, she's coming back. She's not coming back. Oh, and why are you so sure? She's been dead for seven years. Yeah, I was just trying to find some long sausage, you know? And then I was gonna go. I already found some. You can have mine. Let's go home. Yeah, okay. Wow, that was wild. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Hello, can you just verify that this receipt is authentic? Yes, this shows a 72-inch television was ordered from the store on May 26th by an Ellis Griggs. I officially apologize. Hey, my first day. I haven't been a graphic designer in a while. I actually own a record store, but times are pretty rough. Hello, Steph. Yes, I got the changes, but I wanted to have you verify a PMS color for the blue band. No, I can't use royal blue because what's royal to me is light blue to someone else. I will need a PMS color. Yes. 300 blue. Thank you. And have a great afternoon. I know Pantone colors. Yeah. I may be a bit rusty, but I think I still got this, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to get some extra work in uh, because you know, the economy just took a total dive. You seem to be a talker. A talker? As opposed to what? My name is Denise. Before you send any proofs to the customer, make sure I okay them first. If the flag is up, 
I am on one of my two company-approved 20-minute breaks, and I will not be interrupted. I eat lunch at 11.30, except on Fridays, where I leave at noon. Okay? Cool. Yeah. Uh, do you ever listen to music in here, or can I hook up a... Nope. Nope. No music. Can't get work done and party hard at the same time. Party hard like Andrew W.K.? I mean, I'm just talking about having like a little radio playing or my head full. Hey, Bob, I need to check in on an order we received for personalized sanitizers. PO number is 34527890 GTFOOH1345873498127. Yep. Yo, okay. Oh, what have I done? Yo, hey, Jeremy. You still head back to that 80s shit? My name's Greg. In this box, I got Skid Row, slave to the grind. Eight bucks, get it now, dawg. I have to go to work. Where you work? Where you going? Hey, Andy, where you still fucking with that techno shit? Uh, who, me? Hey, Denise, can I ask you a question about the server? I can't get on... <clears throat> it's real quick, though. I can't, like, get into where the in-process jobs are, so I'm kind of at a standstill. Okay, I'll just... Wait here, I guess, for 20 minutes in silence and not do anything. Cool. Hey, Carla, girl, I got that hip-hop classic from Next. You remember them? Hits like Too Close and Butter Love. 11 bucks. Come on, girl. Hey, Frank, you ugly motherfucker. You want to get nuts tonight? Buy a new piece, dude. Got a $35 pipe right here. Used to be a hundred. Get on this shit, dog. Hey, yo, swan dog. I heard you got the corona. You know what you need? A doctor. A little Dr. John. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. Did you have a question? Uh, it's James, actually. Um, yeah, I need to get on the server, and I can't because the IP is addressed. I was hoping you could help me with that. Hello, Brenda, calling you back to check in on an order for custom belts. Yeah, this will be seven drop ships or just five like the previous? Okay, that'll work too, yeah. Okay, oh, and one more thing. How was the virtual Orlando show? Oh, really? <laughs> really, yeah? I have time, yeah, go ahead. Wow, no way. Oh, wow. All right, this next one here is for anyone who uh, likes dance music but hates dancing. It's by Tame Impala. Where are my white people at? Okay, Brenda. Okay. Yep, I have another call. Yep, you too. Yep. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Denise. Who am I speaking with this morning? And how can I help you? Oh, our water bottles. Yes, we have four colors, and they are all able to be personalized. Uh, yep. Yeah. They come in copper and nickel. I'm sorry? Dear God, no! I said nickel! No, I did not! I said nickel! This is an outrage! I'm a hard-working black man trying to get ahead in the promotional product industry, and you call me a... a nickel! I said nickel, like a coin! Like a coon? No, a coin! No, I'm a coon? A coin! Goodness gracious, what on earth is happening here? It's Denise, Mr. Ocean. She started calling the customer the N-word. I did not! I don't know. I didn't think this was such a racist environment when the temp agency sent me here. Oh, it is most certainly not. Denise, you are fired effective immediately. Jerry, no! No, I've been with this company for 22 years. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. You're all tough titty, Denise. You have two minutes to pack up your box. <laughs> This is all your fault. Can't help you, Denise. Sorry. Flags up. Break time. Oh.